Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 17th of 2022 well, it is titled Europa and Jupiter from Voyager 1. So what do we see here? Well, here is a close up image of Jupiter taken by the Voyager 1 spacecraft back in 1979 as it flew by the giant planet and gave us some of the earlier images of this outer world. One of our first looks at one of the outer worlds in the solar system that are very different than the inner planets such as Mer uh, Mercury, Venus and Mars. And we find that these giant planets are quite different, all having extremely thick atmospheres. And in fact, that's all we ever see of them. So our image here is seeing that part of that atmosphere and the part known as the great red spot. And we see that there just to the right of the center of the image. That is a gigantic storm that has likely been visible for hundreds of years. And it's a study trying to study and learn about storms like this that can last for hundreds of years. Certainly storms on Earth do not last for near that long and they may last for uh, weeks to, a m to months as they develop and travel through oceans and over land. But they fade out relatively fast compared to this. Uh, Jupiter storm has been present uh, for quite a long time. Now the other thing we see here is Europa. Europa is the moon visible toward the lower left side of the image and you can see the round distinct shape of it there against the backdrop of Jupiter. And you can see that it's only partially illuminated. You can see that it's there is a dark section to it showing that as we understand that phases will occur in any object any solid object that is shining by reflected light just as they are uh, moving. So someone in the atmosphere of Jupiter would watch the moons of Jupiter go through the same cycle of phases, albeit at a different rate as our own moon. Now there's another dark spot up there towards the top and that is actually not one of the moons but is the shadow of one of those moons not visible in the image. And that is Io. Io is the innermost of Jupiter's very large moons and is very volcanically active. In fact, the most volcanically active object in the solar system. Even though it's small, as small as our own moon, it is still extremely active because of the tidal forces of Jupiter churning and crushing the interior of, of it, heating it up to high temperatures and keeping the interior molten long after it would have otherwise cooled off. Europa a little bit further away does not have such volcanic activity and is still a watery ice world. The surface layers many miles and miles of ice and down below it a liquid ocean of water. So very interesting moons, two of Jupiter's inner moons and two very interesting moons in our solar system. So that was our picture of the day for July 17th of 2022. It was titled Europa and Jupiter from Voyager 1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Hubble Webb. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.